Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, you're sharing the videos. You're dropping beautiful comments. You're sending beautiful vibes back as I bring, send you beautiful loving vibes towards your way. And just being there and being able to resonate with things that I constantly go through is a beautiful thing that we all can connect in one way or another. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my, my channel for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift um, that has been placed upon you and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos you good vibes or good information you would love to you know share with a family friend or even a fellow impact are going through some really dark times right now and they need validation or confirmation towards their life path or even their life purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites whatever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support that you're giving me is greatly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart for that and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today, I'm listening, uh, meditation music I'm listening to today is Stress Reduction Meditation, 741 Hertz. Cleanse anxiety, inner conflict, and letting go of worries. You know, we always worrying about something. But um, today, I, I need to have a moment of silence. There was uh, another person that gained their wings today. John Singleton, he has passed away. He's been a very talented uh, director. He did... Uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2, Poetic Justice, Boys in the Hood, um, Fat, Too Fast, Too Furious, and many, many other movies as well. So he has passed away from a massive stroke. It's just crazy. People are dying left and right nowadays. But um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, sometimes we have to be alone to find our worth. And that is so true. You know, I made videos before, you know, if you're single and or you're just fresh out of a toxic relationship or you just, you know, out of a break, you know, just out of a breakup. You should never jump into another relationship soon as after you break another one. Just because the fact is you don't like being alone or you see that all your friends are in relationships or, you know, that's trending to being in relationships or you just you know you get tired of being alone and it's just like I always tell people you know I've had friends um, that have told me you know Rosalind I'm ready to be married Rosalind I'm ready to be in a relationship and I mean yeah who wouldn't want to be married and be in a relationship but you have to make sure that you are healed you have to make sure you're the best version of yourself if you want to find somebody that's going to make you happy you have to be you have to be that person that makes you happy first you know, sometimes we, we always look for love and completeness in, out, in the out, you know, exterior instead of finding it in the interior. You have to be able to heal, go through a grieving process, sit down and know the things that you want. Don't be in a relationship or don't go back to a relationship out of desperation. There's some people that actually do that just because the fact is they don't want to be alone. Like I said before, I've been in certain situations where you know i just dealt with somebody just because i didn't want to be by myself or you know i jumped in the first relationship just because somebody was nice to me and it you know I, i'm loving single life you know you have to be your own best friend at times you have to be in that alone time to know what you want in your life what the, what what is worthy of you what are you worthy for you know um because it's just like i've said it before as well in the past when people ask me what do you want in a relationship what do you expect out of a relationship and i honestly could not tell nobody now it's just like after i've been in my toxic relationship that was such a blessing to me you know um when you can look at a toxic relationship and see that is everything that has taught you everything you don't want in a relationship it takes communication it takes trust um it it takes um 
you know, a give and take situation, you know, discussing things, communication, um, being able to, you know, respect your partner as your partner respecting you. Is this a person that you can trust? Like when you're not in their face, are they going to try to, you know, deal with other people? You have to look out for the red sign, you know, the red flags for stuff like that. Being able to know, are you okay with being alone for a while? You should be because it gives you that time to heal, know what you truly want in life. What do you want? What do you expect? What do you not expect? What are you going to deal with and what you're not going to deal with? You know, um, that gives you that time to be able to find what you truly love in life. What do you want? out of a relationship you know what kind of relationship are you willing to have you know there are some people that are comfortable of being married on having open relationship i don't play that you know i don't play that i'm selfish i don't like stuff like that i feel like if i'm gonna be in a relationship i want to be all about that person that person all about me but I am want to be able to complete myself. You have to be able to complete yourself. Nobody is going to complete you. You can't find happiness towards other people if you're not happy with yourself. You have to be that person that you're you you love yourself. Being able, you know, and some people are like, you know, Rosa, why you say I don't love myself? I do love myself. Yes, but there are sometimes we're willing to settle. And this person's not even right for you. And some people they go back to old relationships just because you know you had good conversation with this person but obviously if it was meant to be y'all are still been together you know what i'm saying so it's just like you can't be with somebody who was not ready to be in a relationship and you know you are you can't be the one who's always trying to get the attention from them and they're not even you know trying to even make time for you throughout that day you know there, there's times i've been in situations like that but it's just like the situations i've been in the relationships i've been in you know has really taught me a lot about things that I want in a relationship, being able to love myself and know, you know, I'm complete if I'm not with somebody. But, you know, you want to be able to make sure your ducks are all in a row before you even try to open yourself up to another person, you know, make sure you're healed from the last relationship. You don't want to bring old baggage <laughs> from one old relationship and bringing it to another one. Never, you, you shouldn't allow somebody to pay for, you know, the scars that another person has put on you because this person might be all ready for that you know and then when the time being when they want to have their alone time for their self and they couldn't actually not be doing anything you know and you start having insecurity issues about certain things you know you don't want to have to go about that or you're in a new relationship and then you're talking about your old relationship you know you're constantly bringing up that ex you know the ex-girlfriend or the ex-boyfriend constantly talking bad about them that'll let them know that hey are they really over the last person they were with or why do they keep constantly talking about that other person you know you want to be able to let that go now if it comes into a situation where you're sitting down and you're letting them know hey i really went through a really bad relationship and i'm just trying to make sure i'm not going down the same route that i went before cut and dry that's all good you know but you don't have to go into depth about you know <laughs> every single thing that they went through unless there's something they really need to ask or it's a must that they know you know so it's just like it, it allows you being single allows you to know your worth knowing where you are able to fit into a relationship knowing are you ready for a relationship you know you have to ask yourself all these different situations different questions you know because there's a lot of people that you know don't like being alone because it's just like oh when I come home I'm always by myself or you know I'm constantly you know in the bed by myself you know shoot I hate lit you know so it's just me and Scooby <laughs> just me and Scooby but I'm okay with that because I'm willing to wait you know what you know when you're waiting for true love and you're searching for somebody you never know that person could be searching for you and you might be searching for somebody who's not even trying to be looking for, you know trying to even get caught so it's just all about that time on your healing process being able to know if you're ready to be in a relationship don't get into a relationship for the wrong reasons don't try to be in a relationship just to find happiness and out of that when you can't find happiness within yourself if you're trying to be with somebody to fill a void that void will never be filled because you'll never be satisfied and that's why a lot of people you know start sleeping with other people because they're trying to find a void they're not instead of looking it for it they're looking for it all in other people they're not they need to look inside themselves being able to know you can be your own best friend you don't have to compromise your body 
and your time just because you don't want to be alone and that person you might not even be meshing well with that so being able to do that that gives you enough time to be able to get go through that healing process that grieving process to know all these things that i have to constantly deal with especially with you being an empath you know there's not too much things that you can pull over on us but our weakness is you know you, you always try to find the good in people and sometimes you need to be able to find the good in people that's fine but you have to also be paying attention to see if they got those red flags that constantly keep picking up too because if you keep ignoring the red flags that you're gonna constantly keep getting hurt and you're not gonna be with the right person so i hope you are able to validate or you know validate not validate resonate <laughs> with this video give me your input on this video now are you going through um a bad breakup or are you just putting yourself on pause to be able to heal yourself from a toxic relationship um are, have you you know are you through with your grieving process of being out of a bad relationship drop me a line i would love to know uh remember like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you and you know Hit the, hit the bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And my post notification shout out goes to Fennel, Dragonfly, and Georgina Mogul. Ma 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 I hope I pronounced your last name right. I apologize if I didn't. Uh, much love and blessings to you as well. And Ray Fisher, much love to you too. Um, thank y'all for dropping comments, showing so much support. Our channel, this community is growing rapidly. I'm almost at 1,060. So thank you so much for the love and support. Y'all sharing the videos, you're dropping lines, you're giving me thumbs up. You know, you're you we're all, you know, we're all in this together. And just being able to put your point of view out, being able to, you know, give your feedback is really important to me so thank you so much for this love and support you know i love y'all from the bottom of my heart know you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and send out much love and light and positivity as you possibly can because you never know what kind of words can really take somebody a long way much love to you peace and be wild